Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and this is Real Magic Review. And in a minute, I'm going to be reviewing Rubik by Vincent Tarrett. But first of all, I would very much like you to watch this message. If you're like me and you are constantly trying to up your game with a deck of cards, you want to be an expert, you don't just want to know a couple of tricks, you want to be really knowledgeable, then go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. It's my online resource, it is everything I know with a deck of cards. Uh, there's 180 plus videos on there and it's just had an overhaul. There's moves, theory, help with performance, and you can always email if there's something on there that you don't, uh, that you can't see, and I'll do what I can to create more content for you. So it's a really bespoke learning experience. Uh, so if you go through that from beginning to end, if you're a serious beginner or you're already established, you're going to know so much more than most people with a deck of cards. Uh, so cardmagiccourse.com and there are a few free previews on there. If you go on to Card Controls Volume 2, you'll get a free preview of the spread card. Uh, and one more thing, very important, please like and subscribe down there. Hit the bell so you'll get notifications and don't forget to look in the comments bit at the end. There'll be all the links and the info you need on the product and of course the card course. Here's the review. Now, of course, if you've watched my other reviews, you know that I'm a little bit geeky about Rubik's Cubes at the moment. A few weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I got right into it. I basically got the um, Venom Cube, and that made me then go and learn the cube. Not that you have to learn the cube for the Venom Cube, similar to this, um, but I like the idea of if I got into trouble having been able to solve it, and then got really geeky about it, and then I really got interested in this because I'd heard about it. I didn't see it at Blackpool. Uh, and then really lucky, uh, Vincent, no, it's um, Johan from, from uh, Gentleman's Magic or Big Magi Productions. That's probably not how you pronounce it, is it? Let's face it, because they're French and it probably sounds a lot better when they say it. But um, so Johan got in touch with me and said we'd really like you to review it and send it to me. And I was very happy because I wanted one anyway. Um, so I played it very cool. I was like, yeah, if you like. But I was like, woohoo. Um, so it's, it's the, the, if you haven't seen it, right, it's a prediction effect, as a lot of Rubik's Cubes are. This one's a little bit different. So first of all, let's get it out, as per usual. Um, there's a charger. It doesn't come like that. It comes a lot nicer than that. This is just my shonky repackaging. Um, there's the Rubik's Cube. Hey, It's got little headphones on it, which, which uh, that's where you charge, that's where you charge it. That's where you charge it. So I don't think I'm giving away. I've got to be careful, but I've looked at the copy online when people are selling this and it kind of tells you what I'm going to tell you and then what, what it is. So, um, so I'm, I'm going to not expose it, but, but expose it to a certain extent. You know kind of where, where we're going with it. Um, so the, the cube is a, uh, a regular speed cube and it is, it's a, well, it's a Geica cube, but it's a regular kind of speed cube and which we'll go into that in a minute um, and what they do is the participant will mix it up you will say to them it has 43 quintillion different permutations because that's what you've got to say um, they put it down and then one of a few things will happen you will either show them um, your last photo in your photo gallery and it will be the the prediction which is pretty amazing or you can send them to your website so stevefulton.com forward slash cube i haven't set this up yet um you and and the prediction will be on the website so that's great if you've got loads of people because they can all look at the website so if you do this on stage think about that if you do this on stage and you've got a whole thing or in a conference or something like that um and you've got the the other thing is this is the one i've just been playing with is you send them an email before you do the trick Right, so you go have a look at, and you tell them to look in their email inbox and you say, Right, have you got an email from me? Don't open it, but have you got one from me? Uh, it's fine. Oh, yeah, got it, got it. Got it? Yeah. And when you finish, just pop it down on the table. Right, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. So you've mixed a cube. Yeah. Some people think that maybe I'm influencing them when no, I get I'll them to mix it. I literally and, just and, said that completely randomly. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So if we look at it now and make sure I don't do anything dodgy, we've got, let's say we do it from here. If you look at that, there's, you've got the, the L there in a, how you doing right? The L there in the green, you've got the, the orange there yeah. and the thing there. Now, if you open that email mm -hmm. now for me. Right, okay. 
and just wait for it to. I'll click it on my pictures. Yeah. And you see, there's a prediction there. Yeah. And can you see that prediction? And if you look, it exactly matches. Wow. <laughs> what you've just mixed up, and I sent you that before. That is insane. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't get it. <laughs> Which is preposterous, isn't it? Really, if you think about it. Um, so, so that's what. I mean, when I sort of heard it, I thought, no, that can't work because I'm, I'm kind of techie to a certain extent, but I, I, I don't get it. I kind of get it, but it's, but that's great, isn't it? Um, so, effect-wise, I think I'm on to a winner personally. I like that effect. But all three of those, I've tried all three. I haven't tried the website thing, but I've tried the other two, the the um, photo thing, and that's if you haven't got. Obviously, if you haven't got Wi-Fi or there's no 4G or anything like that, you can do the photo thing or the, the email thing. And both have got very, very good reactions, really good reactions. And, and I think I'm quite good at judging them. So um, we're OK there. So I'm going to look at the good and the bad of this. Um, yin and yang, everything's got its challenges. The good things, and I'm trying not to be biased because I do love a Rubik's Cube. Is that it's a Rubik's Cube trick, and all Rubik's Cube tricks are great. No, they're clearly not, okay? Um, but it is, it's, it's a good effect, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is they seem to have thought of all the little niggles that you might have with it. And this is, I like this. I like this. This seems like a project that a lot of thought has gone into, and it clearly has. So the few things you might not like about this. First of is, first thing is that it's a, a speed cube which means it doesn't look those people who have got kids with rubik's cubes and stuff which a lot of people will have all remember rubik's cube will look at that and go whoa that looks a bit full on and then when they start twisting it it because it's got magnets in it has all uh, all of this kind of speed cube has and that's for basically if you're doing speed cube stuff it kind of falls into place easier that isn't how the magic works but some people might go that feels a bit weird or looks a bit weird etc so in the uh, download you can change the stickers. They give you some new stickers that fit in with the more traditional colours. So these are Geica colours and they're a bit bright. And, and the only problem I have with these is because that orange, you've got like an orange and a red, but this orange is almost like a dark orange. Um, so you can change the stickers on it to make it look more traditional, which is a really good thing. And they give you a very cool way of doing that where you haven't got to pick one off and put one on. There's a kind of way where you you can do that and they all come off basically that you do that then if with sticky tape and making part of the sticky tape uh, not sticky etc i'm not going to go into that but but the point is that they've thought of that much detail they've even given you the how to put the stickers on um so you can change the stickers the other thing is there's these little two holes here okay which i haven't had a problem with but there, there was a couple of people that went oh what's that and i just said oh it's just the way it's made um but you might not like the holes they give you uh three more stickers without holes so you can put them on there and all you've got to do to charge it then is to if you know Rubik's Cube, you can just pick the, not the sticker, but the actual bit of plastic off and charge it through there, which isn't going to harm it at all, which is great. Um, they've also given you a way to take the magnets out, but they've said that this is not advisable. So you can take the magnets out, which means it feels a lot more, it doesn't do that clicky thing, and it feels a, a lot more like a, a kind of standard Rubik's Cube. So if you're not, I'm not, I haven't had many problems. I have had a couple of people saying, well, I'll go into that in a minute. Um, so that's cool. So they thought of, of all that stuff. And also in the settings, there's quite extensive settings, not complicated, but uh, they go into this as well in the, in the, da in the download um, of just where you can change when it vibrates and, and when the phone vibrates and stuff like that, because this is, um, you get an app with this, all right? Surprise, surprise. So, so this is an app based thing. So, so the good effect. They thought of all, all that stuff. Um, it's a well-made cube and it feels like a, a well thought out project. So I've got a couple of things. Um, oh yes, that's the two things that I've just written up there that I knew I would forget. Uh, the other thing I always forget about angles, no angles whatsoever. The only thing is if you're going to look at your phone first, which we'll go into in a minute, but you, you don't have to do that. So this is one of those things that you can just do anywhere. There it is. Doesn't matter where you, anybody's sitting. Um, it's kind of in a way self-working which could be a good or bad thing, depending on where you are with that. But it's, um, it doesn't require much skill, this, you know. It requires a bit of trust in technology, but it doesn't require much skill. Uh, and it has a one-year warranty. So if you are worried about, oh, you know, it's an expensive bit of kit. And I don't think it's that expensive, really, for, for what it does. But um, 
you get the one year warranty, so that's really good. So loads going for it, and I'm and 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 I've been having a lot of fun with this, which for me at the moment is kind of what it's about. You know, I've got the I've got enough tricks that I can go out and perform and blow people away, and stick a bottle through a table, etc. But this is this is if kind of the hands offness um, is great, and one of the settings as well, and this is a real positive, is that. There are two ways of doing this. One involves pressing something on your phone to put everything in action, but one involves doing absolutely nothing. That's all I'll say. So they, you can give them the cube, they put it down, you talk to them, and then you get your phone out very clearly and show them the picture, or then they look at their emails. So it's completely hands off. So that's the good stuff. The challenges are, uh, well, it's, it's almost the, 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 the hands offness sometimes can feel a little bit scary. If you're like me and you were, you started your magic journey learning lots of slights, that's, that's my comfort zone really because I feel that I'm in control of slights and if they go wrong, I can kind of feel that they're going wrong and stuff. And, and I, technology is something I've always shied away from, especially on stage, and I think it's amazing. And I am going to, I have built up a little bit of trust with it now, but I do, I do get a little bit scared when it's so hands off and I've got no control and that that it's quite a big adrenaline rush when you go open the email and you <laughs> and you go it could be a different thing uh, but that's ha well it's happened once and this is the other challenge and this isn't a problem with the with the thing it's just something you've got to be aware of when you learn Rubik's Cube uh, magic or how to do a Rubik's Cube quickly you get quite gentle with it you know you realize it's like slights you realize that you haven't got to be that cack handed and you forget what lay people do when they get hold of a Rubik's Cube. So I gave this Rubik's Cube, oh, this has happened a couple of times, um, well the, the couple of times when they've done this thing of, they kind of grab it like this and start like twisting the thing around like it's, I don't know, like it's a test of strength or something. And this, I mean this moves with no effort whatsoever and they're kind of like, you know, bloody hell. So, so that happened at one, twice. The first time it was fine. I was like looking at it going, please don't break it. And you gotta be very careful not to, because uh, you know, so a couple of times I kind of went mm, like that and you don't want it to look too delicate. Um, but what happened the, the one time was, unbeknownst to me, they were so cack-handed with it that they twisted one of the, one of the edges, one of the uh, corners, okay? Now, audience management now, it's fine. You don't you have to worry about that, but I didn't know that was gonna happen. So I didn't know that had happened. So then the prediction was wrong. So I did the email thing and they went, oh, no, and I was oh, gutted. And then I did it again. I was lucky that it didn't land on the corner, the corner that I twisted with at the back and it did work. So all I'd say is it needs a tiny bit of audience management. So you could say something like, because this is a speed cube, you can do it really gently and tell them that so they're not like throwing it around. Then my son did drop it at one point, which I was a bit worried about. I was like, oh, very careful not to shout at him and get all worried. But. Um, so they're the two, they're the two things I think that, that I haven't had any other issues with this. There was one time where the app kind of went a tiny bit glitchy, but then sorted itself out, and that and that was quite a while ago. So I don't know if that was maybe just two problems when I first installed it, um, but that's it. There's nothing I can really think. The other, I suppose, if if I was being nitpicky, um, I would say I'd like a little bag to put it in. <laughs> How camp does that sound? Oh, what a nice little bag, little bag to put my cube in. Um, doesn't matter that I haven't got one, does it really? And and be careful if you, I bought a Rubik's Cube holder to put under my jacket from Prop Dog, which are great, right? Um, and they, they look ridiculous, but people don't see them. But I put this in there, which does work, but then you've got to be careful you don't sit down, forget about it, and it fall out. So, uh, so the bag, the, and, and people were worried on uh, Facebook, and the Facebook group is great, by the way. People have got amazing ideas with printers and stuff, and that's, that's the next thing. Um, people were worried that people might say, well, it's clearly Bluetooth. Now, a couple of times I've had, oh, it must be a special cube. It didn't bother me that much because I think it was more in the presentation. When I was first learning this, which was only last week, I just basically did it. They went, pick that up. There's a thing. I think with presentation, you can start covering all that stuff up with time and direction and all that. And, and they will, you know, you can create stories around the prediction. Um, so it's up to you. My, my, my f feeling was that I wasn't that, but it didn't bother me. They were still absolutely amazed, you know. The same way people with, you know, when you do sleight of hand, might go, oh, it must be some sleight of hand, but I don't know how you did it, but that was great. It's a... It's the same thing, um, and I've had people say, "Does the cube move around when I'm not looking, etc." So, so a lot of the time they guess completely inaccurately. Um, so that is that's the ups and downs. Of this um, my 
I'm, I've, I've been playing this for a week and I'm still really enjoying it. I'm now trusting the technology and like the, the time it didn't work, I'll just go on, oh, that was just a warm up and do it again. And if, it, if a trick doesn't work, you know, do something else. And that brings me on to the one thing I would recommend. You do not have to learn to solve the cube to do this trick at all, all right? That's fine. Um, but I recommend learning if you get any Rubik's Cube magic because it isn't that hard. It really isn't. To do the basic itself isn't going to take you that long. It's very enjoyable. And just in case something went wrong, the only realised uh, the way I realised the, the corner was twisted, by the way, is because I solved it and realised I got to a point where it, there's no way it should look like that. So then I realised that I had to twist it with twisted corner back with trial and error. And if I hadn't have known how to solve it, I would have been like, I don't get it. Actually, what I could have done is just looked at the picture and seen what one was wrong but at that point I didn't know there was a corner twisted so uh, it's kind of going off on a little bit of a tangent but I, th I think it's an important one uh, so there you go bit of a long one but lots to say about this and there is a lot to say about this and I think it's important I I've hopefully hopefully answered your questions if you have any more please do let me know um, and before I go again check out carbmagiccourse.com a lot of love and work is going into this thing at the moment so just for you to go and check it out would be great and and please ask any questions about that and do like and subscribe as well and if you feel the need to share this um, i would love you to bits if you did because it does make a huge difference thank you very much have a good one cheers